All right, everyone. While Sir Topham Hat is gone, who will be in charge of us? I will, because he will do exactly as I don't even say it. Time for me to get revenge. Hey, Duck. What are you doing? Resting. The great western engine needs lots of it. Now, do me a favor and find Henrietta, would you? Hmm. Hang on. That sounds like a diesel. How can it be? The diesel engine is supposed to come until another hour. It sounds like Spanky. But what's he doing with these tankers? At long last, my revenge is nearly completed. Oh crap, he's on the same line! Oh duh, Toby! What? Oh god! Oh my god! What the heck just happened? I had seen many sights in my life. None as disturbing as I saw the burning flames of number D199. He thought that pushing the fuel tankers will destroy us. Guess not. He was completely destroyed with tiny little pieces. Spam can was dead. I cannot believe it. This is just horrific. He was... He was trying to murder us. Isn't that obvious? Now, we mustn't jump into our conclusions. Just in case. He wanted us to be in jail or something like that. We don't know what was going on through his mind. But whatever happened, it was very traumatizing. Especially for me and Toby. Both of us keep asking the same questions. Was it our fault? Were we too harsh on Spam Can? And if we had never come to Sodor, would Spam Can still be here? Despite how atrocious and despicable Spam Can was, we felt guilt for him, and boy did he haunt me. I just can't correct it. Neither can I. There's something we could have done. No, Duck. There isn't. Spam can could have been here if we haven't come to the picture. Maybe he would have, but listen to me. I thought this whole thing over, and yes, Spam can would have been here if we haven't come to Sodor. But he also wouldn't have. Duck, this is not your fault at all. Yes, you may have had an argument or two, but remember, Duck, I live in the same house as him. He was nothing but abusive. And he could have changed, yes, but he chose not to. And that is entirely up to him. While the majority figures of the engines hope they do change, there are some that just don't, and Spam Can is one of them. We gave him a chance, but we let an anger get a better of him. Therefore, he made a very poor choice. If he had come to me and was truly sorry, I would have welcomed him as a good friend. But he didn't, so the fault is all on him. You know... You're absolutely right, Toby. 
Spam can would have still been here. But he had a choice. And he chose poorly. Exactly. Say, should we call an alliance? An alliance? You help me and I'll help you. That's good to me. Right you are. Good. It's settled then. Even though we had an argument, me and Toby had finally became good friends, stronger than before. And so, Spancan's remains were sent to the scrapyard. Sir Topham Hag didn't want to talk about this to Wilbur Audrey. So Wilbur Audrey decided to keep Spancan in his railway series book. Only in one story. He told the children that Spam Can was sent away from being nasty and rude. And he was. But he didn't tell them that Spam Can was sent away in pieces. Sir Topham had sent D261 away too. He haven't approved at all. So after he was sent away, everyone calls him Bowler. And four months later, the number one blue tank engine returned to Sodor from his holiday. But I think I should let him tell his story. Well, thank you for telling us your story, Duck. My pleasure. I'm proud to talk about my history, because I'm Great Western. <laughs>